Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh my god. Oh, that totally went flat down. Well, bro, pick it up. No. That hurts, that is painful. He is not like reacting quick though. I would totally eat it still, but I feel like it's flipped and everything just melted onto his carpet. And at that point, I don't know, you can't eat it if the toppings aren't on it. Gross. That looks so good though. Mmm, that just made me so hungry. If a shark, <gasps> what is that? Wait, wait! I didn't even freaking see this animal. What? What is that? <gasps> it's a seal. Otter seal? I don't know. One of those. Dang! I honestly thought I had n I did not see that there. And then when I heard it barking, I thought it was a dog. No, that's a freaking water creature. Oh my god! Come on. <laughs> What's gonna happen though? Oh! Wow, I definitely did not think this was gonna be a success. I'm slightly impressed. I think this is actually hilarious. Like the fact that the guy on the horse is in like a full cowboy suit and then this guy is in like, like bathing suit bottoms, they committed. I would try this, genuinely. I thought something was really gonna go wrong here. Wow. They call it a selfie induced coma. Yeah, you don't see this a lot. Oh, wow. This is what happens after you've taken your millionth <laughs> selfie. Apparently, when you reach a certain threshold, what? your brain shuts off and starts snapping pictures on autopilot. Well, she's not even switching it up. For all we know, this could have gone well into the night. Oh my god, that voiceover is just... So dramatic. I am one to take a lot of selfies, okay? Because in the pile of 100, I'm probably gonna like about two of them. But the thing is, is when you take them, you kind of like, you know, you play with the camera, you move, you try different angles. This woman is just holding the same pose and taking the same photo 900 times. They're all gonna look the same. I don't know. I like the old selfie camera though. I miss that, that those days of the digital camera. <laughs> Why are they laughing? He's throwing out garbage. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, they want him to slip. Oh. <laughs> Okay, the laughs are the best part of this whole video. Obviously that's their friend, but I was like, what's the joke here? They were saying, please slip, please slip. <laughs> no, but the bag ripped open. Oh, that is so annoying. I don't know why he didn't do, the, you know, the ground. You just kind of, you wheel it up, then just whew, big toss in. I don't climb any of these things. You think I'm about to put my bare hands on the side of a garbage bin and climb it? Hell no, and if I can't get it in, it's sitting at the bottom on the ground. Sorry. Oh no. Huh? Oh my god. Oh, it came back. Wait, what? What is happening? <laughs> Did the bar go down? Oh! Wow! That's like a boomerang. She threw it and it came right back, right into her lap. It's magic. She is so lucky though. She threw that into another lane. Like it could have been way worse. I have seen some serious bowling fails where like it cracks the floor or hits the light above and it smashes. This is pretty, this is pretty crazy. We're seeing some magic in these videos. <gasps> No, no, 
Is that a bingo dabber? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, girl, you're gonna need more than some paper towel for that. That is, that sucks, you guys. I never even thought about that for bingo dabbers, that that little spongy thing pops off, you're screwed, because that's dye. That is dye in there. Like, you can't even tell me that won't stain. <gasps> oh, that whole table's gonna be blue. <laughs> and then you need new papers. And like, you're in the middle of a bingo game. This is so embarrassing, I feel for you. That's rough. I honestly think I would just walk, I'd leave, and just pretend nothing ever happened. I have so much respect for those like avid bingo players when they have like color coordinated dabbers and they bring all their stuff and their good luck charms and they have a whole setup and they just sit there for hours. I kind of hope it's me one day when I'm older. I mean, even if you lose, like at the, at the end of your life, do you really care? When you're retired and stuff, it's like, I'm gonna just gamble. Might as well. You win, you lose, what? I'm gonna die anyway. I just, I hope I get to a point at that point where I just don't give a fuck, you know? Oh my god, no. Oh, she's going all out. Oh! oh my god! No, that's so embarrassing. Oh no, that sucks. I am all for, you know, taking photos in public, filming in public, whatever. I, you want to get that content? Get that content, good for you. But I, I don't know if I could like have my phone on someone's car in front of a restaurant doing it. I don't think I have the guts for that. Or I just have a lot of values. <laughs> Yo, oh my God. yo, you guys got some ghost shit up in there. <gasps> Play it again. What? What? I am wondering the same thing. What the hell just happened? That was literally like poof, like an explosion went off or a ghost. There is no explanation for that. That is some paranormal stuff. I would quit my job and I would be out of there so fast. Sketch, that's sketchy. Oh man, have you ever had that happen? Where something like either like, you know, fell or broke or opened or anything like a paranormal? I do have one. I was living with my parents and it was late at night but my brother and I were awake and we were texting each other and I was in the basement, he was in his room upstairs and something smashed like really loud out of nowhere. I was like, did you hear that? He's like, yes. We were like, I'm like, meet me upstairs, I'm scared. So we met upstairs and we we saw, it was like a painting but it like was on the ground smashed but there was like this huge shelf in front of it so it had to have like, it looked like it fucking flew across the room. Like it made no sense at all. Anyways, it was scary. I asked my parents the next day, they're like, oh, that's so weird. And I'm like, no. And I uh, moved to Toronto shortly after. <laughs> no joke, not because of that, but. Oh, I've seen this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> doesn't get, it gets better every time. I've actually seen a clo different angle, like a closer one. And the disappointment on his face, like he's so defeated. And I, I don't blame him. Like what do you do at that point? Oh. Oh, that would suck. Oh my God, was he just delivering a, like a food package? Uber Eats? Oh, those are all fish in there. No. No, screw that. Look at all those fish. You just belly slammed them. I don't know why that's there. I don't know. Is anyone else thinking like how unnecessary this is? There's like a little piece of glass there and the door is right there. Like, mm. I don't know. I think we need a little new, a little switch up in our interior design here. The owner of this house in New Jersey Ew. went down to the basement to check the consequences no. of the flood, no. and his timing was perfect. Oh, shut up! Don't worry, the guy is okay. Anyone in his place would have screamed like that. Oh my god! 
my mind is blown. I am actually too stunned to speak. Can you imagine going to your basement to check out this flood that just happened and it just collapses and everything caves in on you? Wow. Oh, perfect timing is right. He got out of there. Mm, he is so lucky. All right, guys. Well, did that really just happen? Apparently it did. I, um, yeah, see ya. <laughs> I don't have anything left to say, but I will see you in another video. I was Jasper Dyer. See you next time. Bye.